Hello students, in this video, I am going to discuss the answers of section B of ICSE class 10 board physics paper conducted on 4th March 2024. Question number 4, the image of a candle flame placed at distance of 36 cm. So here the candle flame is placed at 36 cm from the lens that means it is object distance U and the image is formed on the screen placed at distance 72 cm. Now since the image is formed on the screen, the lens is convex lens and image distance is given 72 cm. So we have to find focal length and power of the lens. So if we use the lens formula and substitute the value with sign convention, we get the focal length of lens 24 cm and power 1 upon f that is 4.17 diopter. Fourth, second question. Below is an incomplete table showing the arrangement of electromagnetic spectrum. We need to identify the radiation A that is microwaves. Name the radiation used to detect the fracture in the bones. X-rays are used for that purpose. We all are aware about that. Name one property common to both A and radio waves. So I have written one property common to them is they, they do not require medium to travel. You can also write that all electromagnetic waves travel with the same speed in vacuum. Next, why do we use red color as danger signal on the top of a skyscraper? Now, red has maximum wavelength and because of its maximum wavelength, the intensity of the scattering will be least, right? Because intensity of scattering is inversely proportional to fourth power of the wavelength. So, red color having the maximum wavelength will scatter the least and hence it can travel up to long distance. Next, the diagram shows the path of the blue ray through a prism. Calculate the critical angle of the material of the prism. Now to identify the critical angle, what we can do here is we can draw the normal on the surface AC and this angle becomes 90. So this angle will be critical angle that is 133 minus 90 will give us 43. So critical angle here is 43 degree. what is the measure of the angle of the prism A. Now to find out the angle of the prism A, we can use little bit of maths here. This angle is 90. Let us find out what about this angle that is 90 minus 43. So this angle has to be 43 degree. So prism angle is also 43. Which color should replace the blue ray for the ray to undergo total internal reflection. Now the critical angle is directly proportional to the wavelength and since blue color has the critical angle 43, any color having critical angle less than 43 will undergo the total internal reflection and there are two colors having wavelength less than the wavelength of the blue, violet and indigo. So these two colors will undergo the total internal reflection here. Next question number 5, first A, refractive index of glass with respect to water, refractive index of glass with respect to water is given 9 by 8 and we have to find the refractive index of water with respect to glass. So according to the principle of reversibility, we can write this statement and the required answer is 8 by 9. Now in B, we are asked to write the principle that I already stated that is principle of reversibility. Next question is, if we change the temperature of water, then will the ratio 9 by 8 remain the same? The answer is of course no, because the refractive index of any material is dependent on temperature. If temperature changes, mu will change and hence this, this ratio will also change. Next question, light travels a distance of 10x units in time T1 in vacuum and it travels a distance of x units in time T2 in a denser medium. Using this information, answer the questions that follow. First is light covers a distance 20x units in time T1 in diamond. Is this statement true or false? Now to find it out, let us use this fact that speed is equal to distance upon time. So if I try, if I write the speed of light in vacuum, C is equal to 10x upon T1 based on the data given here. If I use mu for diamond that is C upon V and substitute the values of C and V, in terms of distance and time, we get the answer as 10x upon d as mu. 
Now refractive index of diamond is 2.52, but for simplicity, I'm taking 2.5 here right now. So by taking mu as 2.5, we can find the distance traveled by light in diamond that is coming out to be 4x. Whereas here in the question, it is stated that the distance will be 20x. So that statement is false. Next sub question is calculate the refractive index of the medium in terms of T1 and T2. So mu is equal to C by V, C is 10x upon T1 and V is equal to x upon T2. On simplifying we get 10 T2 upon T1. Question 5, sub question 3. Monochromatic ray of light is incident on equilateral glass prism placed at minimum deviation position with an angle of incidence 45 degree as shown in the figure. Copy the diagram and complete the path of the ray. So I have completed the diagram over here. State two factors on which the angle of deviation depends. Any two factors you can write. I have written angle of incidence and prism angle. Question number six. Define the center of gravity. Now center of gravity is a point about which anti-clockwise torque is equal to clockwise torque. A hollow ice cream cone has height six centimeter. Where is the position of its center of gravity from the broad side? So the center of gravity in case of cone from the broad side is at height h by 4 from the base. So using this fact we get the required answer is 1.5 cm. Will its position change when it, when it is filled completely with honey? The answer is yes because when we fill the honey in this ice cream cone the mass of the system will change and as a result of that the center of gravity position will also change. Next, uh, two identical marbles A and B are rolled down the, along the path 1 and 2 respectively. Path 1 is frictionless and B has friction. So it is a rough path. Which marble will surely reach the next peak? The answer is of course A because that marble is moving on frictionless path. Along which path the mechanical energy will be conserved? That is again path A because it is frictionless path. And along which path the law of conservation of energy is obeyed? So law of conservation of energy is obeyed irrespective of whether there is friction or not on the given path. Next, given are two pulleys. Copy and complete the label diagram connecting the two pulleys with a tackle to obtain velocity ratio 2. You can see the diagram here. If load is 48 kgf and efficiency is 80%, then calculate the mechanical advantage. So mechanical advantage is 1.6 and once we get mechanical advantage, we can easily find the effort 30 kgf. Question number 7. Name the waves used in sonar. Ultrasonic sound waves are used in sonar because they have very high frequency. 7b says in the diagram above, Lata stands between two cliffs and claps her hands. Determine the time taken by her to hear the first echo. Now be, be careful here that Lata is standing at distance 10 meter only from the cliff A. So if Lata will not be able to hear the echo from cliff A. Why? Because the distance between Lata and cliff A is just 10 meter. Whereas we know that the minimum distance requirement for the echo to be heard is 17 meter at least. So the first echo will definitely come from when the sound reflects from cliff B and comes to Lata. So using that fact T is equal to 2D upon V, we get time 1 second. After 1 second, Lata will hear the first echo. Next question is complete the following radioactive reaction. Now if you look at this reaction very carefully, Atomic number and mass number on both the sides of the reaction must always be conserved. So using that fact here, on extreme right side, the atomic number is 90. So here, in this particular part also, atomic number has to be 90. Next question is, uranium is available in two forms, uranium 235 and 238. Which of the two isotopes of uranium is more fissionable? Now this is based on the fact answer is uranium 235 next question in the given diagram a vibrating tuning fork is kept near the mouth of a burette filled with water the length of air column is adjusted by opening the tap of the burette at length 5 cm of the air column a loud sound is heard name the phenomenon of course the phenomenon is a resonance why is loud sound heard at this particular length so natural frequency of the air columns when it is same as the frequency of the tuning fork, these air molecules start vibrating with maximum amplitude and hence we hear the loudest sound. 
if the present tuning fork is replaced with a tuning fork of higher frequency should the length of air column increase or decrease the answer is decrease because the frequency depends inversely on length so as the frequency of the tuning fork will increase the length required for resonance length of air column should decrease question number 8 the table is given and we need to identify whether the conductor used is ohmic or non ohmic the answer is conductor is non ohmic because the ratio of v and i the ratio of v and i must be constant but if you take the values of v and i and find the ratio you are getting different values so the given conductor is non ohmic and justific justify your answer so that justification i already just discussed state ohms law it states that current flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference applied across its ends next below is a diagram of transformer based on the diagram it is very clear that it is step down transformer because the number of turns in the secondary coil are less than number of turns in the primary coil next question is in this type of transformer which of these wire is thicker so secondary coil wire must be thicker because in secondary current is greater than the current in primary coil next question is based on the circuit diagram here we need to identify the total resistance of the circuit so first you can see that 10 ohm and 6 ohm are in series so equivalent is 16 ohm similarly 12 and 4 are in series so the equivalent is again 16 ohm so two 16 ohm resistors are connected in parallel and hence the total resistance of the circuit becomes 8 ohm now once we get the total resistance of the circuit we can easily find the current drawn from the cell that is 0 0.5 ampere state whether the current through 10 ohm resistor is greater than less than or equal to the current through 12 ohm resistor so i have drawn the equivalent circuit diagram over here and you can see that two 16 ohm resistors are connected in parallel so whatever current comes from the cell that current will divide equally into two parts okay half of the current will flow through upper branch and remaining half of the current will flow through the lower branch so what we can say is the current flowing through 10 ohm and 12 ohm will be same that is 0 0.25 ampere each question number 9 85 gram of water at 30 degrees celsius is cooled to 5 degrees celsius by adding certain mass of ice find the mass of ice required so here water which is at 30 degrees celsius loses heat energy and ice which is at 0 degrees celsius will absorb the heat energy so first ice will convert into water and then the temperature of that water will increase up to 5 degrees celsius so according to the principle of calorimetry heat loss is equal to heat gain mc delta t of hot water is equal to ml plus mc delta t of cold water this is which water the water which is converted from ice okay so by inserting the values we get mass of ice is 25 gram the next sub question in that is why does it become pleasantly warm when the lakes start freezing so when the lake starts freezing okay when water freezes into ice it loses the heat energy so whatever heat energy is lost by water of the lake that is released in the surrounding and hence the surrounding becomes warm next question is water freezes to form ice what change would you expect in the average kinetic energy there is no change in the kinetic energy why because the temperature does not change when the state changes which will contain more heat energy one gram of ice at zero degree celsius or one gram water at zero degree celsius the answer is one gram water at zero degree celsius because ice at zero degree celsius first will absorb certain amount of energy and then that ice converts into water at zero degree celsius so naturally water at zero degree celsius contains more energy than the same amount of ice at zero degree celsius next state one factor that affects the magnitude of the induced current in ac generator answer is number of turns b the diagram is given and we are asked to find out or we are asked to state the rule that is used to predict the direction of deflection of magnetic compass the answer is right hand thumb rule 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज स्टेट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट इन द कंडक्टर एक्स टू वाई और वाई टू एक्स नाउ द नीडल मैग्नेटिक नीडल इज प्लेस एट दिस पॉइंट पी एंड वेन द करंट फ्लोज द नीडल शोज डिफ्लेक्ट इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर डिरेक्शन सो इफ यू यूज अ राइट एंड थम रूल यू विल बी इजिली एबल टू स्टेट दैट द करंट फ्लोज फ्रॉम एक्स टू वाई ओके सो वेन करंट फ्लोज इन डाउनवर्ड डिरेक्शन देन ओनली द नीडल प्लेस एट पॉइंट पी विल डिफ्लेक्ट इन अ गिवन सिचुएशन और इन अ गिवन डायरेक्शन If resistance R is increased, then what will be the effect on magnetic lines of force? If R increases, current decreases, and if the current decreases, the magnetic field around the conductor will also decrease, and the number of field lines will also decrease. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel, and the link for the section answer of section A is given in the description below. Thank you.